so we got to meet up with Luke Bile, a research analyst with financial derivatives company with us here. And it's really great to have you around. Chimese is more interested in the paper and pulp industry. I don't know why. But then let's kick off first with the burning economic issues. Uh, you've done a lump sum of um, this. Mm -hmm. Talk us through the burning economic issues as, as things are with you at FDC. Okay, so to, as of today, the burning issues are that um, British pound is down 0.96% against the dollar. Mm -hmm. Money supply is up by about 4%. That's money supply locally here? Yes, domestic. What's given rise to that? Because you said it's um, up some 3.5%, Yes, right? so we have things like um, election spending Great. and um, some few weeks back there was a release of um, some funds towards mm. capital expenditure. So those kind of factors are driving money supply up. 4%. Mm. Um, we have that there's a warning from Shlambije that shale production could fall below 10.7 um, 10 million really? barrels per day. Yes, oh. and the NLC has um, announced its plan to resume nationwide strike on November the 6th. So do you think we should wait for the Energy Intelligence Agency to, co to corroborate or confirm this uh, report from Shlombeje? Well, we should probably give it some time to see what it if would... If that's going to yes, work out eventually. Yes, but okay. I mean, Shlombeje is a reputable... Yeah, uh, well. Exactly, so they know what they're talking about. So you got NLC strike coming on board uh, yes, on November, November. It's taking a different dimension right now. Definitely. Every day is taking new turns so we have that they are pushing for obviously as we know a minimum wage review mm -hmm. on behalf of its workers to just ease the suffering i believe is what they are fighting for and we have that product and they want to of course obviously boost productivity of these workers too right. and but it's just that it's a major adjustment for the government it's mm -hmm. it's it's something that's going to cost them a lot even if they're willing are they able to afford this minimum wage review is the question that they would have I mean, to the answer. The federal government has said it is willing to do things to make things work. At the uh, NESG summit yesterday, the vice yeah. president uh, confirmed the fact that they are working towards the improvement of human development, of, of human course. capital development in Nigeria. Of yeah. Course. So retail diesel uh, yes. price of 250 okay. naira per liter. Yes. So of course that would reflect on transportation and logistic costs, and that would start may start to feed into inflation. Oh my September. God. Yes. So for those who actually <laughs> use the public transport to go to work mm -hmm. where uh, the public trans or commercial transporters do more of diesel. Yeah, and there's also the <laughs> trucks that are used to import, that are used to bring um, food items from yeah. the rural to urban. Ah, they run on diesel. Food so prices and all that exactly issue now. for October, oh that is something to watch So you got out. the goodies and the downers. Mm -hmm. Just, that means the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So <laughs> I'll take us through that. You talked about new minimum wage will mm -hmm. boost demand for FMCGs. Yes. Really? Well, yes. Minimum wage review is a double-edged sword. So it would definitely improve um, the consumer purchasing power, mm -hmm. which would likely reflect reflect first in the FMCG sector, fast-moving consumer goods, but it also would mount inflationary pressures, and we've already started seeing inflation inch up, so we're now at 11.28%, yeah. so it would definitely... Couple with the money supply, exactly, we now have inflation. Exactly, wow. so that is a front-burner issue for the MPC at its next meeting, and we also have that if shale production falls like Sean BJ has mm -hmm. forecasted, we have that that is good for Nigeria because oil yeah. prices would increase, yes. Who buys our oil? I mean, every time we see those reports posted online, uh, Nigerian crude uh, mm -hmm. struggle to get buyers here and there. I mean, but, I mean yeah, is that really to our favor? It is because, I mean, we're still the sixth largest um, OPEC producer, so that has to be good for us in some way, even though, again, that is a double-edged word because of landing cost and the subsidy we're already having to spend at Brent at above $80 per barrel. That is going to cost us a lot for subsidy payments. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so what more have you got? Weaker British pound will affect diaspora flows into Nigeria. That yes. tells you they won't be able to buy... Uh, more of the uh, Nigerian euro bonds, the, the tradable on London Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. I mean, this morning, I know, well, as of yesterday, it looks like the investors were really more interested in the short side of uh, mm -hmm. the call. Yeah, so, yeah, it definitely affect our diaspora flows from England into Nigeria. And the value of what they will even be able to send back home is not... Is, it would have depreciated from what it could have bought some months ago. But that is also good in terms of, you know, tourism. So if you want to take a trip to the to England now, we want to take a medical 
visit or something, it's good for you, it costs you less because their pound is falling, so that's also good for you. Yes. Power sector, what's in there for us to grab? Um, so power sector, there's really nothing new. It's, we saw 4,000 some days back. We actually went above 4,000 megawatts per hour, so really? that is good news for us to be able to do that but again it wasn't sustained so we're back down to 3,000. 3, but yes, the, the, so. the Minister of Power Works and Housing said something uh, last week, mm -hmm. I think it was Friday or there about, I talked about some 945 megawatts of power coming on board and then the fact that see, they've engaged some uh, manufacturers to see how they can tap into the untapped or uh, dormant uh, 2,000 megawatts of power. Yes, yes, so it's good news. I was reading that they also want to make use of underutilized power mm -hmm. um, stations. They want to boost power output, which is good news for us. If you are able to add a significant amount of megawatts to the mm. national grid, that mm. is good for you and I and mm. for manufacturers and everybody really is. So that's good. But um, that's still a problem with the distribution side of things. Yes, and our gas flare. So you also found that we got gas constraint uh, mm -hmm. standing at 1,340 megawatts. Yes. yes, so gas flaring still remains a key issue. If Ooh, we want to God. improve our power sector, we mm. have to tackle the gas constraint mm. side. So uh, pop, paper and pulp was, uh, sector is actually the focus? Yes, it is. And it's a, so it's a really interesting commodity because paper is like you know gotten from pulp, which is gotten from trees. Mm -hmm. But the thing about paper right now is it's looking like it's becoming extinct. Mm -hmm. So what you would have had few years back, you would have had printed books now, mm -hmm. but now you have e-books. You would have been using your checks to make your payments, but now you have mobile payments. Oh. You would have been, you know, things like that. You would have been using your printed tickets, but now you have e-tickets. So newspapers, you can read it on your phones. Mm -hmm. So there's all this technological That's shift true. and environmental consciousness that is making paper now look like, is it really needed? But we still have things that paper we haven't found substitutes for yet, so we still use them for tissue, mm. still use them for packaging, for cartons. So things like that are definitely still in demand for paper. And if you check the facts, we saw that Nigeria still spent a huge amount importing mm. paper products into right. the country. In so it'll be time for our paper and pulp mills. operators and yes. investors to now start yes. considering diversification yes. of what's Definitely. their efforts and all the funding. And Thank you so much, Timmy Jokbe. I appreciate your time. It was really interesting talking to you.